it's time for another freestyle build and we're going to be pairing it with the new hype train vanover v2 motors let's go get the build started this is alex vanover's latest frame the vanny style and i having flown all of the other vanny styles in the past this is the latest iteration accumulation of many years of experience putting all of the things that he's learned in coming the top action cinema pilot in the world. Now for the components, we're gonna be using Foxier's Reaper F4 EAC, the 45 amp 20 by 20. I really like this one because it's compact, but very powerful. Put a capacitor on there and you really don't ever have to worry about it. Set it and forget it. The even newer F722 V4. This is the new flight controller that actually can go all the way up to 8S. 20 by 20 that goes up to 8S. Why would you ever need that? There was some experimentation being done at Champs, from what I understand, with 8S. I don't know if it's best for racing, but what it could be best for is something like a Cinelifter. So this is really overkill, but since I have it, I'm gonna go ahead and throw it in there. I'm probably never gonna be putting 8S on this. 6S should be plenty. Now, I want this to be cinematic, low latency high control so i'm going to be putting on a ghost receiver on there with hd zero this is the 20 by 20 race board i don't fly long range or long away from myself so i'm actually going to go with the race v2 vtx as opposed to the larger fatter easier to kill freestyle and since i fly at the night spot i'm going to be using foxier's digisight v3 with the starlight wide lens on there that can absorb a lot of light look at the nice touches these little screw insert thingies that give you a little bit more grab especially at the front this is actually the action 2 mount did put a little bit of um grip in there check out these nice little touches you see these little slots right here and this little key slot right here these arms are being held at multiple locations, so they're about the stiffest of any frame I can see. They're butting up against each other. This key is holding it. This little slot has a tiny little piece that's holding it from the other side, so they're gripped on multiple sides for maximum arm retention. I did do this little trick to kind of hide the capacitor underneath so it can fit under there nicely and it's kind of out of I have this made it up to the Vanover V2 motors right here. They're extremely powerful. I'm having to run a superb throttle cut on them just to be able to maintain a lot of control. So it's really nice to have that variability and adjustability for some nice freestyle. And look at the motor protection out at the end of the arms you're not going to be likely to bang up these stupendously nice looking motor bells and check out the TPU I have using the DJI Action 2 camera. Alex Vanover was the most dominant drone racer in the world in the late 20 teens. Multi-GP champion, drone racing league TV show champion, and dozens of races in between. Since that time, he stayed a top competitor in the world of drone racing but has sought to become the most dominant figure in another type of drone flying, cinematic action shots, culminating in being sought after by name by top director Michael Bay for his action opus, Ambulance. Seriously, drone work is really boring in movies. I found this 19 year old kid. He's an amazing drone racer. I go right under that car. You're gonna time it perfectly. He goes, do I get to practice? I said, no, once, because I'm jumping the car once. You're gonna get it right. FPV footage featured on the largest action spectacle of this new decade shows that not only is it a new technique sought after by the film industry's biggest names, but that one operator's name looms the largest. Alex Vanover. When any top professional creates a frame option, it's worth noting but when the most in demand on big budget Hollywood sets does it and includes his years of experience in the racing and freestyle world, you have to reevaluate cinematic shots that were so difficult to do prior to this and had to be done via a helicopter, meaning you could not get into smaller spaces. Those shots had to be done with CGI, taking teams of professionals weeks or months that can now suddenly be shot with the added realism of capturing in camera towards cinematic, that is what you'd get with the Vanny style. What are the animal, Colonel? You got it. What are the ingredients that make it more cinematic? The wide arm stance for cleaner air, multi-arm touch points for the absolute stiffest frame I've ever felt, and design around a very centered center of gravity that is set up for the most locked-in and vibration-free 
flight from the onset, meaning it can handle power while retaining its composure, which translates to better footage due to the less vibration. Speaking of power, the signature Vanover V2 motors provide more than enough power. There's a lightweight action camera option like the Action 2 and a 75 percent throttle cap feels perfect. Use a full size Hero 11, adjust it to 85% to fly smooth, or go all the way to 100% when you want that additional speed. The versatility of this combination developed to work in sync with each other gives a more cohesive flight narrative than one where you choose your own adventure entirely. Take it a step further by adding the signature Vanover prop and you have quite the package. The best motor protection perhaps on any freestyle frame. Very easy toilet tank mounting for improved and balanced flight feel. One of the top cinematic paid pilots in the world. So when he called me on Facebook Messenger, I actually thought he was butt dialing. I had never talked to him before. I met him once at Mayhem, but it was still really exciting. And I answered that butt dial, not knowing what I would hear, but it was actually him wanting to call me to review his frame. And of course I jumped at the chance. And now fancy transition. those things make it the best freestyle frame on the market some of them do and some of them are just nice things to have but if you want to support somebody that's supporting the industry by being out there and representing us then this could be the option for you it is very very good and if you want to build something new try something new go with something a little bit lighter but also very durable with with 5.5 mil arms just as thick as that apex then this could be the one for you i typically keep one freestyle option on hand uh, permanently that I use for any of my freestyle needs. And this is gonna be it probably for the next year, just because it's so good, it's so clean, it's so light. I caught this interview footage of Alex Vanover at the Mayhem Team Race. What he didn't even mention was that the next morning I'd see pictures of him being posted from the red carpet at the ambulance premiere. The guy's so humble, he didn't even mention it. What a great ambassador for FPV to have him representing our hobby to industry leaders in the film, sports, and other industries. It was just so interesting to see Potato Jet's interview. Go check it out in the link below where Jake Gyllenhaal and Michael Bay are not only just discussing drone flying on set and what it does and how it transforms a new movie coming out, but actually the drone pilot himself. 